Hey guys, this is Emily from the Benabone team and this is Kokoro. And today we're going to talk to you guys about some Benabone and dog chew safety tips to keep in mind. We know that dogs love to chew. It's a really great way for them to de-stress and get some of their energy out. Every dog is different. Some dogs like chewing more than others. For example, I have two dogs, Kokoro and Chibi. Kokoro is much more of a heavy chewer than Chibi is. But for dogs like Kokoro who really love chewing, it's really important as an owner to keep a close eye on their chewing habits, how hard they're chewing, and just making sure that their overall dental health is in good condition. There are a lot of great benefits to giving your dog a chew, aside from helping them get a little bit of their energy out and keeping them entertained. It's also really good for their oral health. As dogs age, they are actually able to develop a lot of the same dental problems that humans have because of tartar buildup. So giving them regular chews is a good way to keep on top of their oral hygiene. Sometimes when I give my dogs a brand new chew, they get really excited, they start chewing really hard. It's a good idea to make sure they're not chewing too hard to avoid the possibility of small fractures in their teeth. If my dogs are going a little bit crazy, I just take the chew away for a couple of minutes and give it back to them and monitor their chew strength that way. Also pay attention to the size and durability of the product. At Benabone, we actually have quite a variety of shapes and sizes, from small to large to giant. We also have puppy chews that are slightly softer and made for puppy teeth. We wouldn't recommend giving those to a strong adult chewer, so make sure you're looking at the packaging and the sizing recommendations before giving it to your dog. My dogs, Kokoro and Chibi, are about 20 pounds each. They do pretty well with the small and medium sizes. Because Chibi is more of a gentle chewer, sometimes we will give her the softer puppy chew for a few minutes and then take that away when it's getting worn. So, speaking of wear and tear, how do you know when the life of a Benabone has ended? The general rule of thumb is a Benabone typically lasts about one month. This, of course, depends on your dog's chewing habits, but let's take a look at some stages of wear and tear for the typical Benabone. So here we have four different stages of a Benabone stick new, light wear, moderate wear, and heavy wear. So a brand new Benabone out of its packaging looks something like this. This one's pretty self-explanatory, but if we take a look up close and personal, it's quite clean and the original shape is in full form. The next stage of its life cycle is light wear. With light wear, you'll see that Potentially one or two sides of the actual product have been worked on by the dog. If you find that your chew has light wear, it's totally okay to keep it out. Just keep an eye out for how it progresses. The next stage is moderate wear. So if you take a look at this bone that is in a moderate stage of chewing, you'll see that all the protruding sides of the bend bone have been worked on by the dog. There's even portions where it looks like the product is starting to get a little bit deformed. Our general rule of thumb is if more than a sugar cube's worth of product has disintegrated or is missing, the bone has reached the end of its life cycle. Finally, if your Benabone bone is starting to look something like this, this is way past its prime. So with this Benabone, bone, you'll see that the original shape of the chew is no longer there. There are definitely pieces here and here that are missing from the original shape. This is definitely an example of a stick that probably should have been tossed a while ago. Even if your dog is a relatively light chewer and they aren't able to make as much progress on a chew, for example, up until this point, it's probably a good idea to throw out the chew after one month, no matter what, due to things like bacterial growth. You don't want buildup of that staying around your house. So say your dog has been working on this chew for one month, it looks like it's probably got light to moderate wear, especially on this one side compared to the other. However, it's been a month, it's probably time to throw it out. Just to show you guys another example, this is a brand new Benabone Wishbone, one of our most popular shapes. You'll see that it's got no wear and tear whatsoever. And here is an example of a heavily worn Benabone wishbone. You don't ever really want to let your dog get the chew down to this point. If you take a look at the two chews side by side, you'll see that they were actually originally exactly the same size, but this one has lost a lot of the original integrity and shape of the product. The bottom portion is missing almost entirely that whole knuckle. So this is really an example of a heavily worn chew that should have been tossed a while ago. And this, is an example of a chew that's way, way past its prime. Benabones really should be thrown away long before they get to this point. You'll see that entire leg of this product is missing. Make sure to always monitor your dog when they're chewing, check if large pieces are coming off, and toss them when it's time to go. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Feel free to head to our website at benabone.com slash wear if you have further questions or want to check out image references that will let you know whether or not it's time to throw out your bone. Feel free to send us a question or a DM on any of our channels if you're unsure and we're happy to help you out.